watching out for you. This is KZI 9 News at 11. A tough decision sits before the eWeb Commission as three development teams gave their pitches today for its downtown riverfront property. Thank you for staying up with us tonight. I am Brian Richardson. KZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz is live in the studio with an overview of these visions. She has our top story coverage here at 11. Sarah? Well, just like the rest of the project, this was no simple pitch. Each team had 75 minutes to present their conceptual plans to the eWeb Commission. And now the responsibility falls on the eWeb Commission to whittle the three down to one and choose the site's master developer. Trammell Crow Company, Williams and Dame Development, and the University of Oregon Foundation are the three teams up for a bid to handle the project. eWeb spokesman Lance Robertson says that each team understands the vision for the property and the vision of the master plan. And the 27-acre eWeb property stretches from the DeFazio Bridge all the way to the University of Oregon. And Robertson says it won't be easy choosing the team to head the project. Not just development experience, but development experience with doing large-scale uh, master plan type of developments. Uh, so it's going to be a hard decision for our commissioners to make because all three of these proposals are, are really good. Now Robertson says that all three teams have mixed use development ideas, a mixture of nature, apartments, restaurants, and commercial buildings. The EOB Commission has a lot of work to do in the next two to three months. He says they'll have a lot of follow-up questions for the teams, and they hope to have a team picked by the end of the year. Live in the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.